sleep last night, huh? Couldn't sleep? Yeah. I was, so excited? I was. Actually, I was excited. And uh, flew in, had to get my physicals and all that. So it's been a long day, but it's been a good day. It's been a good day? Yeah. Now, you had a lot of options coming into this. Uh, what made the Clippers stand out to you? You know, a, a number of things. I mean, I think... Um, you know, I think the team and, and the personnel on the team, uh, I liked, uh, what, you know, obviously what I saw from them last season and playing against them and watching them from afar. Uh, I think the coaching staff and, and, and their belief uh, and how to incorporate all the new players they had. Um, There's just a number of things. I mean, I think this team, you know, like I said earlier, just took a huge step last season and I think has the potential to take another step. And so. There's an excitement here with this franchise, and I think the fans, and uh, really all across the country, you know, the style of play. The, the, you know, you have some some great young players in their prime. You have some veterans that to, to kind of mix around there and uh, add to the bunch. And so, um, it's a team that that that's interesting, and 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 wasn't maybe necessarily on you know on my radar. But I think as I really started to process it and think about it, it, it made a lot of sense. And. Uh, I'm excited to, to make that decision and be here and be a part of this team. Now I know some of the guys on the team reached out to you and you were able to talk to them. Did anybody say anything that was really memorable to you or anything specific that kind of stuck out? You know, I mean, it was just, I think, I mean, obviously you have relationships with guys and guys you know through the years and respect. And uh, I think, you know, really one of the, the, the big conversations was Chauncey. You know, here's a guy that was traded here. and. Maybe when he was traded here, um, you know, I don't know what he felt at the time, but uh, and then obviously got hurt and um, had a chance to really observe and see things uh, as he was recovering last season, and then chose to chose to come back. I mean, I think you know here he is at this point in his career, similar to me, um, and, and and deciding to come back, you know, says a lot, and certainly picking his brain and um, and, and, and hearing about everything. Um, you know, factored in. You know, obviously, I, I think the world. I know Vinny Del Negro. I've known him, competed against him, and worked with him in Phoenix. Uh, so that was that was certainly uh, you know our conversations and and his passion and excitement, his beliefs on basketball uh, played a big role. And, and so I can go on and on. I mean, talking with our training staff about the training staff here and. Uh, and the opportunity just to play with, with some, some solid people, guys that I think are good guys and guys that you know, are about doing the right thing. And uh, so a combination of a number of things I think factored into that decision and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be here. Now you mentioned your relationship with Vinny. Um, you, you've seen him in so many different capacities as a player in the front office in Phoenix. Now as a coach, what, what's your take on, on playing for him as a coach? No, I mean, it's weird. I mean, it's weird when you see a lot of guys that, that that were contemporaries of yours that are now, you know, coaching. You know, it's 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 interesting. Um, but I have respect for him. I respect. You know, I remember watching him at NC State. You know, when I was growing up, and uh, and then having a chance to play for him when, when I was in De or play against him rather when I was in Detroit and he was in San Antonio, uh, and then really getting a chance to get to know him on a personal level. What is my first year in Phoenix? Um, you know, I, I I enjoy. I mean, I think he's someone who. Uh, has had some experience coaching and uh, has, is growing as a coach. He has uh, a, a, a bunch of guys around him that, you know, he has some vets. You have guys that I think he respects. And um, I look forward to working with him in this role now as a you know, player-coach relationship. Now going forward, though, the rest of this summer, what, what are your plans heading into the start of training camp? You know, we've got a few things here and there uh, next couple of weeks, but, but hopefully I look forward to in the next, you know, three to four weeks sort of transitioning here. Um, you know, we'll see, hopefully my family, you know, will we'll come out as well and get adjusted and then just, you know, get in the gym and work and get ready for training camp and get used to my surroundings and uh, uh, make sure my family's straight and, uh, and just, you know, get ready to toss it up uh, first day of training camp. Start to navigate the mean streets of LA, right? <laughs> there you go, there you go. That's well, thanks, exactly. Grant. Well, welcome to the Clippers. All right. With Grant Hill, I'm Madeline Burke and you're watching LAC TV. For more on the Clippers, check out clippers.com and for ticket information, call 866-4-CLIPPERS.